Morning. Welcome to English Ivy Paradise. In other words, my house. So when we first moved here, English Ivy was everywhere. It was encroaching way into the lawn. It had covered the flower beds. It was climbing the trees. It was climbing the walls, which can be very destructive, I understand. And it, it just had completely lost all control. It, it, it's an invasive species. You give it an inch, it takes a mile. Obviously, years ago, a property owner thought it was a great idea to strategically plant uh, some little beds of English ivy to provide a nice decorative ground cover or maybe to cover over some little night some little unsightly spots in the yard or something to, or to add some interest and it was unchecked and so it just completely went beyond all bounds and took over the yard and so Tammy's been working hard to push it back and pull it up and uh, we've been spraying because poison ivy came right behind it in any case trying to make some room for a yard not just an English ivy sanctuary well in Matthew chapter 13 verse 22 Jesus says that uh, worry and the things of this world like our possessions are the deceitfulness of riches can crowd out and choke out the word of God that is planted in our hearts until we're unfruitful uh, it steals our joy it steals our peace it steals our effectiveness in touching other people with the love of Jesus that's that's the way the things of this life can be uh, worry can be an invasive species in your spirit. Where is it crowding Jesus out? What things are just consuming your mind, climbing the walls, encroaching in on your heart? Where are the things that you see on the news or your bills or your health concerns just coming in and choking out God's Word in you. Well, today you can begin to push that back, and the Holy Spirit will give you the power to do that as you make some more time for the Lord, as you make a little less time uh, for consuming the worries that you see on TV or the things that, that crowd into your minds. Let's think about Jesus today and get our lives back let the Word of God grow within us. Father God, I pray just confessing to you that uh, in previous weeks, especially as Ukraine was invaded and other things have been going on in the news that are disturbing, I have allowed the worries of this world to crowd out my attention to you. Lord, I pray that you would help me to make more room for you in my heart. Jesus I want you to take over. I, I want you to be fruitful. I want your word to, to grow and to bloom and to produce fruit in my heart. I am yours. Help me to make room for you today. I give this hour right now to you. I'm available in Christ we pray. Amen.